How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be predicting the entire All-Star Game program and the, some of the Home Run Derby content that we're about to get in MLB The Show 22. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now we know this All-Star Game program is going to feature 30 players, one from each team, and some additional Home Run Derby content. Uh, and in order for me to explain this, I really want to go back in time to last year's game. We had Season 3 Team Affinities right around the same point and it consisted of these all-star game players. So how I'm gonna do this is go back in time to the division and the players that we got in last year's game and talk about some predictions that I think we're going to get in this year's game. Some of the teams only have one representative, so some of these cards are not really predictions. These cards are almost confirmed. For example, Jorge Lopez is probably going to be the Orioles all-star game selection and a part of the program. They might also implement the Trey Mancini Home Run Derby card that we got in last year's game. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. I think for the Yankees, we get Aaron Judge. Uh, I just read that Giancarlo Stanton is open to participating in the Home Run Derby. So we might see another Giancarlo Stanton Home Run Derby card. And we'll talk about that a little bit later too. For the Red Sox, I think Rafael Devers is the best pick. Uh, Xander Bogarts just got a card and Rafael Devers got that card recently but some of these players and we'll look at this in last year's game too some of these players had two very similar all-star game or home run derby cards or both uh, for the uh, Blue Jays I think we might get Alejandro Kirk we could also get Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, for the Rays Shane McClanahan is definitely a good option there and then we'll get into the AL West division Last year we had, you know, a variety of overall players. I think this year we're going to get all 97 overall cards. Last year I think they kind of messed up a little bit when they went with some 96 overall guys, some 97 or 98 overall players. Uh, but now we get into the AL West for the Athletics. Paul Blackburn, I'm pretty sure is the only selection there. For the Rangers, we have Martin Perez. This card might be pretty decent, right? It has a pretty good pitch repertoire. Usually they boost these cards up. These cards have active live series quirks. Uh, so if you have a guy like Mike Trout or Shohei Otani, they will have those active quirks. I'm going to predict Mike Trout for the Angels. That might be a bold prediction, but I'm going to go with, you know, a few different guys than maybe what other people are expecting. For the Astros, I want to go with Justin Verlander. I don't think we've ever had an Astros version of Justin Verlander, and he's pitched extremely well for them. Kind of rejuvenated his career a little bit. We have Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. This card will have maxed out speed or at least close to it, right? With the parallel system, he should be able to get to 99 speed, and that card should be intriguing. I think he'll be really good, better than that uh, future star we got in last year's game. For the AL Central, I think we get Andres Jimenez. I'm pretty sure he had a future star card a couple years ago, uh, but this card might be pretty decent. We could also see Jose Ramirez there. I think it's a little bit more unlikely. Uh, for the White Sox, Tim Anderson, I think is the only selection here. This would be a great pick. Uh, solid shortstop. I kind of just wanted to go with um, you know, some of the best cards we've seen for some of these players, even though I do not think they will be at a 99 overall. For the Royals, Andrew Benatendi is a good selection here. He was the face of the franchise card, so we should see an upgrade for him. We have Byron Buxton. This card might be one of the best all-star game cards all around with the active quirks, with increased hitting attributes, the maxed out defense and speed should be there. As far as uh, left-handed relievers, Gregory Soto would probably be the Tigers pick. It's the only Tigers uh, selection other than Miguel Cabrera, which we'll talk about a little bit later. They could, of course, pick Miguel Cabrera, but I think you'll be able to unlock him in a different way. As we get into the NL Central, Wilson Contreras is the best pick for the Cubs. This card should be pretty good, especially with the boost against righties. And I think he has the pop time quirk, which helps him with the animations, throwing runners out, trying to steal. Corbin Burns is probably going to be the best pitcher in this entire program. He, I still think his live series card is one of the best pitchers in the game. I would love to have an upgraded version of him. Luis Castillo, this is a, uh, a red selection here, and I think it's gonna be a relief pitching version of Luis Castillo. I don't know if he still is a starter. Um, I'm not sure, I'm really not sure about that one, but it is gonna be Luis Castillo. For the uh, Cardinals, we have Paul Goldschmidt, first baseman. This card might be very similar to the finest card. They might uh, decrease a few of those attributes to make him a 97. Uh, as far as the Pirates go, David Bednar, uh, this card might be pretty bad based on his pitch repertoire unless they add in a couple pitches. I just don't see him being effective with three of those pitches there. We'll hop into the NL East division, and I think Edwin Diaz is, is a good pick here. It could also be um, Starling Marte, I, I want to say, but I think Edwin Diaz is a better pick. Uh, Juan Soto for the Nationals, the only National selection there. I think that would be 
the best possible scenario anyway. Juan Soto has some of the best quirks. His finest card's always insane. Um, and I think that uh, this All-Star Game card should be pretty good. I'm hoping we get Ronald Acuna. I think it could be someone else like Travis Darno or Max Fried. I, I, or Max Fried. I don't know if uh, we're going to get Acuna, but I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that we do. That's why I put him in here. Bryce Harper for the Phillies. This card's almost confirmed. I want to say uh, he's going to be one of the better outfielders in the entire program. For the Marlins, we could get Jazz Chisholm, but I really want to see Sandy Alcantara. Give us another pitcher that has an elite sinker, an outlier sinker. He hasn't gotten an upgrade, and he deserves one. We're going to finish this off with the NL West. Jock Peterson already has a Player of the Month card, and this card's still very good. This is a great bench bat against righties. I want to see increased attributes against lefties. He has a great stride animation. That card has a great swing. For the Padres, I want to say Manny Machado is going to be the selection here. And I wasn't keeping up with everything going on with Tatis. I know he was kind of getting a lot of votes. Uh, I didn't see him on the list, so I don't think there's any chance we get Tatis. Um, but I thought that might be interesting. Joe Mantiply for the Diamondbacks. This guy, I'm pretty sure, set some type of record for like most innings without a walk or something to do with walks and, and how good of control he has. So that card might be decent. Trey Turner. Uh, this card for the Dodgers this time around, I think that would be pretty awesome to see. That Trey Turner card was a killer in last year's game, almost automatic. For the Rockies, I think we might see CJ Crone. I actually played against him in high school, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but as far as a home run derby collection or all-star game collection, I'm kind of hoping we get this Mickey Mantle. That is not a real card, but we could see someone like Mickey Mantle, like Willie Mays, Maybe Duke Snyder, or Harmon Killebrew, someone potentially from the 1960 Home Run Derby or the 1960 All-Star Game, kind of when they started all this stuff up. I think that would be an awesome tribute. I think we are going to get some type of tribute program to Albert Pujols and Miguel Cabrera as those two guys are the legacy selections for the actual All-Star Game. Uh, they are not going to start. They might you know, pinch hit or something like that or kind of just get some recognition. Um, but I think that these two cards might be collection rewards. They could be uh, some type of program. And who knows, right? Some of these guys could potentially get two of the same type of card. We saw that last year with JT Realmuto. And I just wanted to kind of show you some of the stuff that we got, right? We got a choice pack from the Home Run Derby. And we also got a choice pack from the All-Star Game. So keep in mind that there will be other cards, right? We might see this Shohei Otani return. We might see that Pete Alonso home run derby card return because I'm, I think he won it, or maybe that was a flashback. It's hard for me to remember everything. We could see this Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, released back into the game. We could see Robinson Cano home run derby card come back into the game. We could see a flashback, something like this, Jock Peterson. This was kind of like the miscellaneous home run derby card. Um, but I would like to see this. I mean, Robinson Cano, I think he just got option to Atlanta. So that would be something, you know, they might add him into the game. That would be pretty cool. We might see a few of these legends make a return into the game. We saw this type of thing with the Home Run Derby X-Pack. I am expecting some of this stuff, but I don't want you guys to get your hopes up. I think there is a chance that we get, you know, some, uh, some mini henchmen bosses, uh, whatever you want to call it. You know, legends and flashback diamond cards, maybe out of 91 overall, 92 overall. Uh, from some of these all-star game cards that we've had in previous years games maybe guys that don't necessarily have a card although some of these cards are already in mlb the show 22. so those are just things i was thinking about uh, speculation as well as some predictions because uh, the all-star game rosters are already set in stone and uh, i didn't really want to clickbait i didn't want to mislead you with the title uh, i just wanted to clarify that some of these all-star game cards are probably confirmed Whereas on the other hand, I'm also making some predictions on certain types of content, certain things that I think we're going to get released as a part of this program. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and hopefully I was able to help you prepare in some way. Make sure you have all those Home Run Derby X-Pack players. Those cards are going to go up in price. Until next time, peace out.